My name is Dr. Fitzalbert Michael Marius. My age is 96. I've been practicing surgery in, in Fresno about 56 to 58 years. In 1958, Dr. Byron Evans and myself did the first open heart surgery that's ever been performed in Fresno, California. And we started open heart surgery. <laughs> If you've never met Dr. Marius, you're going to be blown away by who this guy is and everything that he's done. He's a walking museum. The history that he's lived, the things he's accomplished in his life, and the incredible perspective that he has through all of it, he's one of those guys that after you meet him, you walk away saying, wow. Now, I didn't know anything about Fresno. When I came here, we were only about 50,000 people. The town ended on Shields and Blackstone. I worked in, you know, Children's Hospital, and then we, we started working heart surgery in St. Agnes, and then after St. Agnes, started, started working heart surgery in Community Hospital, and then later on, the last one that came up was, was the Heart Hospital. So I was in, involved in approximately 11 to 12,000 heart surgeries during the time I operated as a surgeon. No, that's why people think, you know, Said God, you know, Dr. Marius is always what some time he was born, he wanted to be a, a doctor, you know. <laughs> but, and they're always amazed when I told them I got to be a doctor with a flip of coins. And when I was 16, I was an expert custom tailor. I could make anything gloves, caps, fur coats, <laughs> dresses, suits. I could make everything because I learned everything from scratch. Being a tailor, what it tells you is that you have hand-eye coordination. You can take something that doesn't look like something and make it into something that is productive and valuable. You build up your, your self-esteem with production, not with just attitude. <laughs> well, I think it would be amazing for anyone to have these accomplishments, but when you consider that he had to overcome poverty, racism, a war where his life was at risk every single day and just discrimination throughout his life to be the first African-American to be a medical intern here, to be the first heart surgeon here. Now, it was very easy to be the first because blacks were denied all kinds of opportunities. So when you guys, <laughs> you did something, you became the first. Surgeons so cut things apart and then sew it back together. The, the things I got more compliments about, you know, from my patients was not so much what went on on the inside, but years later they say, Doc, I'm telling you, that incision you made, you can't even see it. <laughs> you see that heart that he has, a heart to change the world, a heart to serve others, and I think it makes you examine the way you see the world and what you're all about. And that's one of the reasons that Dr. Marius makes as big a difference at 96 as he did at 36 or 46. Well, I remember what it was like for me to meet Dr. Marius, and I've had the privilege of being around him when other people meet him. And I see the looks on people's faces when they say, wow, he's really done all those things? I wish I could do one of those things as well as he can, and he can do them all. But when you ask him what he's most proud of, the answer you'll always get is, I'm proud that I was obedient to God and that's his motivation. So you see that heart that he has, a heart to change the world, a heart to serve others, and I think it makes you examine the way you see the world and what you're all about. The Central Valley is like a heart to me because like the difference between a house and a home. The Central Valley is no longer my house, it is my home. <laughs> so, so my heart is involved in it and I care about what happens to this valley and what I'm able to give to it, I'm the nine because I'm related. It's my family. <laughs>